Hi, and welcome to the Data Processing with Data Frames section, a part of Learning PySpark video series. In this section, we will go through the ways of adjusting schema of a data frame. We will cover how to filter, aggregate and select data. And we also do cover data transformation, sorting, and we will glimpse at the data held within the data frame that will also we will be discussed. Finally, we will learn how to save data from data frames and how to do the repartitioning. There are also some intricacies of using pure Python methods, although this is actually going to change once PySpark 2.3 is released. So we will discuss the pitfalls of using true Python methods while working with data frames. Now, let's start with the schema changes. In this video, we'll learn how to drop and rename columns and how to either remove or fill in missing observations. Let's get started. Okay, so first, what we need to do is to have some data to play with. If you have watched the previous section, you already know how to do this. But here, what we pretty much do is that we read the sample data CSV file using the CSV method. We treat the first row our columns, column names, and then we also infer the schema of the data frame. We also want to transform the order date from string to date. So we use the to date function in order to change the data type. So when you run this, there you go. We have our data that we played with in the previous section. Okay, so now that we have something to work with, what we can do is to let's review how we remove columns that we don't need. These two cells below, they produce exactly the same results. However, the first one uses the select and the other one uses the drop method. So let's run these two. And as you can see, they produce exactly the same table. The best solution depends on how many columns you have in your data frame and what is actually cheaper to do. If we want to select all but two columns from our data frame of 50 features, I would use the drop method, of course. If, however, we wanted to select five columns from the same data frame, I would then use a select method. Okay, let's move to renaming columns. There are two ways to rename columns, either by using select or using the with column renamed methods. The difference is that the first one will only select the columns we specify and by using the alias will actually rename the name of the column, give it a different name. So in this example we'll change the name of the order date column to date and change the name of the region column to location. So if you run that you can see that we have now date and location instead of order date and column and region. The other one on the other hand the width column rename retains everything that we had in the original data frame, but it actually changes just the names of those columns. So we'll rename the order date and region to location. So as you can see, we retained all the columns that we've had, we've had in our original data set. Okay, so let's move to dropping observations. There isn't many missing observations in our data, so we'll actually randomly break our data frame. What we're doing here is that we're accessing the underlying RDD of our data frame and then we randomly loop through all of the records and then break 20% of them and we will just make some missing observation in the unit cost and the total columns, right? So not that our original data had some malformed date, it resulted in null. So when we were first doing the transformation, there was a malformed record there. So what we would like to do is to actually remove that, that observation. And you can actually do that. The drop and a method allows you to specify the subset parameter and then specify which columns you want to look at when looking for the missing observations. In this case, we want to specify only the order date. If you were to pass, use the drop and a method without any parameters, it would drop all the records that you had in your old data frame that had any missing observation, right? So by specifying the subset, you actually order the drop and a method to only look for the missing observations in the order date. So when you run this, it will take a little while because we're breaking the data set, but you can see that there is no nulls anymore in the order date. Okay, so now that we know how to drop the observations, how about we've broken the data set, right? So we have some missing observations in the unit cost and total, although we don't see them here. What if we wanted to fill them in? Okay, if we have some missing values that we would like to fill in, we can actually use the fill and A method. The method accepts either a single value that will be used in place of each null, or a dictionary where the key is the name of the column and the value is the value to be inserted instead of the null in that column. 
So first, what we're going to do is that we're going to select the unit cost and we do some aggregation. So we're going to do calculate the average of the unit cost and then we once again alias that as a unit cost. The two pandas method, it actually takes our Spark data frame and converts it to the pandas data frame. So we can then use the to dict method of the pandas data frame to create a dictionary. The dictionary, if you were to look at the average unit cost, right? If we were to run this and then look at the average unit cost, you can see that right now we have the a dictionary of unit cost and the value of 19.19. So what we can do is right now, just use the fill NA method to fill the blanks for us. And there you go. So we had some missing observations. Note that this is the original data frame that we used. We didn't drop the order date here. But this is the original data frame. And then as you can see, we have the unit cost filled in and replaced by the mean of all the unit costs. The width column, we're going to cover that. But the width column, actually what we do here is that we take the number of units and then just multiply that by the unit costs. That's why we can recalculate the total. Okay, that's it for this video.